My Three Sons. Starring Fred McMurray. And his bub, William Frawley. world. <laughs> now, is that clear to everyone? Rango, who is Miss Pitts? She's Europe. Right, she is Europe. Hank, who am I? Uh, President Monroe. Correct. And what was my ultimatum, Maribel? Hands off the Western world. And what is that known as, Robbie? Robbie. Oh, um, the Monroe Doctrine. What do you say, Maribel? The Monroe Doctrine. Robbie? The Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine. Maribel? The Monroe Doctrine. Together. The Monroe Doctrine. 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 We were speaking of Wordsworth's personalization of nature. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Marble. You dropped your pencil. You know, I was wondering if maybe you and I could... What did you say, Robbie? Oh, uh, nothing. Excuse me. Come on, Robbie. We'll be late for algebra. Some girls like me, some girls don't like me. But she's the first one who ever ignored me. Well, didn't you find anything else out about her? No, no, I know what she looks like. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Get out your homework, will you, Lord? What kind of things does she go for? I got to find somebody to get her interested. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Bob? Sending us sources? It's the darn lamp. Dad, which word starts with Q besides queen? Uh, quiet. Yeah, but how am I going to find a picture of that? I've got to find a picture of all these words. Hey, Bob. Come here. Isn't that the darnest thing? Yeah. Would you mind standing there on your left foot while I read this paper? <laughs> uh, Dad, hmm? how do you feel about people with gold teeth? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. You know, the seniors had to take a placement test today, and that's the kind of questions they asked. Oh. Quake, quick, quack. There must be a loose pencil sometimes, but why there? Unless you're going to be a dentist, why would gold teeth interest you at all? Are you kidding? <laughs> Robbie. Oh, five more minutes, Dad. No. Here's a picture of a chicken. Maybe I could say it's a quail. Well, most guys stay on the phone a lot longer than I do. Most guys get better grades, too. What are you talking about? I got a 94 in my last history test. What's the use of having a letter nothing starts with? You hear what I said, Dad? Yeah, you said you wanted to stay on the phone longer. Boy. No, about the 94 in history, Dad. Well, boy, where did you run this wire, anyway? Well, right over the door. Over the door? Man, you did it the hard way. Why didn't you just fix the outlet? OK, Dad. Uh, my history teacher, Mr. Wiley, boy, he's the greatest. He makes something dull like history seem fun, you know, easy to remember. Yeah, excuse me, Ron. Where's that plugged in? Over at the Pearsons? <laughs> you should have been in on the war with Tripoli, Dad. Yeah, I'm sure I would have enjoyed it. Here, sit down. Uh, Miss Pitts was the Pasha, and her pirates wouldn't let us American ships cruise down the hall unless we paid them money. Oh. Well, there's a loose uh, wire in this plug, bub, but why standing over there would... I'll get the screwdriver. I'd like to get rid of X and Z, too. Mr. Wiley was President Jefferson, and he sent the Marines, Alan, Fizzy, and me over to settle it. Hmm? Boy, oh, boy, can I make one more phone call, Dad? Yeah, as soon as you finish your homework. Gee, it's awfully important. What's her name? <laughs> Maribel Quinby, but it's not her I'm calling. Got a picture? Of what? The Quinby. It could be my second cue. I'll oh, get off a weird chip. Maribel Quinby is a swell new girl. I'd like to take her to the sock hop, but she won't even smile at me. Smart girl. Fizzy's girl knows her, and I want to check with Fizzy. 
You're not going to have time for one of those marathons with Fizzy tonight. Anybody seen a picture of a railroad or a rhinoceros or a rat? If I could just get her interested, I'd know we'd hit it off big. She's my type. Who isn't? Yeah, but you ought to see the way she doesn't look at me. What's the matter with me? I'll tell you what's the matter with me. I'm dull. Just plain blah. Well, uh, now that we know what the problem is, all we have to do is solve it, huh? Yeah. Uh, what's the name of your history teacher? Mr. Wiley, but what's... Well, Rob, why don't you uh, try using the Wiley method on Mirabel Quimby? Huh? Well, didn't you say he was able to make uh, dull subjects interesting? There we are. Thanks. One thing about Mr. Wiley, when he goes into action, you sure can't ignore him. Well, when things start acting up, the thing to do is take the time right then to trace down the source of the trouble and... I mean, I want to help you, but to run over somebody with my bicycle, it's the whiny method. That's the way it makes dumb things exciting. But it's, it's even against school to ride my bike on the ground. Look, you're not going to run over. I'm going to throw myself between Mirabel and the bike. Here she comes now. Come on. Okay, Get out but of here. take it easy. I just painted the bike. Make it look good. You said, Hank, you know better than to ride a bike on the school grounds. Well, I... Well, uh, gee, Miss Pitts, anybody can make a mistake. I tried to flag him down, but he just wasn't looking. I might have expected this from some boys, but certainly not from you. Well, gee, Miss Pitts, Robbie... Oh, uh, well, Miss Pitts, he didn't mean to run over you. Now, Hank, I hope you realize, as Robbie does, that there are other people on the streets beside yourself. Thank you, Robbie. Wow, we. Boy, it worked. Put it there. What do you mean it worked? I never saw Miss Pitzel's she sword. She treated me like a hero. Yeah, you're a hero, but what about me? Oh, you did fine, Hank. You'll do even better next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Open your books to page 127. Lockenval by Sir Walter Scott. Wilma, will you start at the top of the page? Come on, I do it for you. Come out I will ask back. you. Through all the wide borders you see. I'll be over there. in two minutes. Thank you, Wilma. Hank Ferguson, will you continue from there? No. What? I said no. Very well, Hank. I'm sure I can count on Robbie to save the situation. In Dixieland? In, in Dixieland, Dixie I'll take my stand to live and die, Dixie. That's beautiful stuff. Now, you ready in the north? Rally around the flag, boys. We'll rally once again. It's a wonder you didn't lose the war. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, Kentucky. Right. Now, remember, Kentucky, each side is out to get you. Let's start out with the South. Now, farmers in your rural districts gave the South a <laughs> Abolitionists dragged Kentucky towards the Union. Yeah! You already got me enough trouble with your layoff. Just this once more. The slaveholders pulled Kentucky to the South. I can't say those things about women and girls. Hey, come on, take it easy, will you? This is war! All right, all right, class, class. The Union wanted to keep hold of Kentucky for a strategic location. Yeah! 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 
those things in the hall. Look, Chief, you want so long as I can hear them in their book and hear Hold Kentucky for a strategic location. I'd like a sluggy without saying those things. The Confederacy fought to hang on to Kentucky to control the Ohio and the approaches of the northern Mississippi. Come on, man. Yo, he... But the South overstepped itself and pushed Kentucky right into the waiting arms of President Lincoln! Gee, I'm sorry, President Lincoln. I mean, Miss Pitts. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I'm afraid it's my fault, Miss Pitts. I'm very sorry. Well, I only came in to say the bell has rung. Oh, thank you. We didn't hear it. What was the board of war and all? Class, we'll settle Kentucky's fate tomorrow. Dismissed. Rango, I'll yeah, have some help with the desk and get a couple of guys. Uh, Robbie, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Okay, Hank. I sure thought you were one guy who never let me down. Oh, for Pete's sake, Robbie. Well, okay, but if it doesn't work this time, I'm okay. Come on, let's go. Who needs school? Who needs teachers? Louder. Who needs school? Who needs teachers? It's a crummy world, and learning a lot of lies in books won't change things. I don't believe you really mean that, Hank. <laughs> Grow up. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, Grow up, Douglas. Um, don't waste your time looking for justice Truth, honor, and beauty. Uh, they don't exist. You have only to look at these pretty girls to realize that there is beauty. Ah, women. They only spoil what little good there is. Show me a man dazzled by a woman, and I'll show you a millstone. Hank Ferguson, you apologize to these ladies. You're not telling me what to do, Douglas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Take it easy. Oh. Don't worry, ladies. I'll fix them for that. Hank Ferguson, your time has come. <laughs> Barely touched me. Class. Hurry up. Come on. Chop, chop. Go. Move. Is this going to start this? Now look at the spot we're in. Yeah. And Maribel took off before we even got to the best part. I really don't understand it, Mr. Wiley. Hank's a changed boy. Well, if, if you'd like to let me handle this, Miss Pitts, I'm faculty advisor for both the boys. Oh, yes. I never thought I'd hear justice and honor denied in these halls. And by a boy I once admired. All right, Robbie, you can go on to your next class now. Uh, gee, Mr. Wiley, you're not going to do anything to Hank, are you? Well, that's something Hank and I will have to work out. 
Well, there are lots worse things than trying to run over a teacher or being rude or disobedient in class or, or fighting in the halls out there. <laughs> Boy. Such as what? Well, what I mean is they sure wouldn't be enough to get a guy expelled, would they? Well, they might give him a running start. <laughs> Mr. Whitey, you just can't blame Hank for that. It was all my fault. Robbie, I admire your loyalty. I'm not loyal. I'm just a low-down, dirty rat. Goodbye, Robbie. I got Hank into this, and now I'm going to get him out. But, Mr. Whitey, I'm not going to just stand... Goodbye! I'm sorry, Hank. Yeah. Mr. Whitey? <laughs> What if you that old sea captain who sailed that beat-up English ship in the Roanoke Harbor and didn't find anyone there except the lost colony that had disappeared? What? I mean, no matter how mysterious things look, there's just got to be an explanation. Oh, boy. Uh, remember Columbus? Um, vaguely. Well, Harry was sure he'd found India when it was just little old... Watling Island? Yeah. But you read the book and Columbus didn't. Okay, but what does Watling Island have to do with this situation? Oh, plenty. Are you trying to say that things aren't always as they appear to be? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell you what happened. All right, Bobby, I'm listening. What if you were Juliet, or Priscilla Alden, or Queen Guinevere, or any of them? Now, you wouldn't think much of General Custard if he didn't have any Indians to make his last stand with, would you? What I mean is, uh, if a guy doesn't have a dragon to fight, or, or Norman invaders, or, uh, or Apaches, well, how in the heck is he gonna be a hero to Scarlet O'Hara? Yes, I can see that would be a problem. Sure. And unless he's got a darn good friend who, who doesn't mind being a, a bunch of wild Indians on the warpath or a boatload of dirty old pirates or a, or a... Hold it. I think I get the picture. Robbie, if Scarlett O'Hara were attending this school, what name would she be using? Oh, I don't know. I guess... Some name like, uh, Maribel Quinby or something like that. And you're General Custer. Yeah. A bunch of Indians on the warpath? <laughs> um, sit down, Robbie. Well, it looks like I was wrong, Hank. I guess you're the one who should be getting to his next class. Oh. Gee, uh, I'm sorry, Robbie. Yeah. Robbie didn't mean to make any real trouble for anybody, Mr. Wiley. <laughs> Robbie, why, why on earth did you risk your reputation and Hank's just to impress a girl? Well, it works well for you. For me? You see, Maribel thinks I'm dumb. So Dad told me I ought to... I mean, I was trying to make myself interesting. Well, like you do with history. You were using my teaching methods for your romantic pursuits? Yeah. I was trying to make a dull subject interesting. Uh, Robbie, uh, what, what would happen if Miss Pitts used, used the Wiley method to, to teach English? Well, that just wouldn't work out at all. Right, any more than it did for you or any more than I could use her method to teach history. People have to do things in their own ways. So, General Custer, maybe the best way to interest Scarlett O'Hara or any of them would be to do what is natural for you and nobody else. Yeah, well, what's natural for me doesn't interest Maribel. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Getting expelled makes me interesting. 
Like, like Benedict Hale wait, or... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Robbie, you're not expelled. This time. And it's Nathan, not Benedict. Well, let's just say that this was my fault. And please, please never try to use the Wiley method again. Well, as far as Mirabelle is concerned, maybe you'd get further if you just didn't try as hard. Relax and be yourself, which, which, believe me, is anything but dull. Yeah, well, thanks a lot, Mr. Wiley. I just wish Mirabelle felt the same way. Oh, Robbie, you passed the library on your way home from school, don't you? Yes, sir. Would you please pick up Middleton's The War in the West for me? Every copy in the school is out. Middleton's War of the West. Sure. See you tomorrow. I guess you probably don't remember me too well. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, well, I was that kind of dopey guy who sat about three seats down and rolled behind you. In Mr. Wiley's class. Yeah. I was Missouri when you were Maine. We were admitted to the Union together, remember? Of course, some people don't think I'm too dumb, but some others don't even notice me at all. Gee, I don't understand that. You're very noticeable. You're one of the most noticeable boys I've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Gee. I didn't even think you even knew I was alive. Well, sometimes a person feels like being friends with somebody, only you don't know how to start. I know what you mean. You don't seem to have any trouble. Yeah, but don't forget Columbus. You mean about Watling's Island? Gee, just think how much luckier we are. All along, I thought you hadn't even noticed me. <laughs> I thought the same thing about you. Can I walk you home? Sure. the war in the West? Where's somebody else, Rob? Oh, Bills. boy, oh, boy, did you ever pitch me a curve? Mm. I darn near got expelled. Expelled? You mean from school? Exactly. I wouldn't have blamed them. They had every right after what I did. Guys have been expelled for doing a lot less. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, what am I sorry for? Don't worry, Dad. I covered for you. I gotta go. Now, wait a minute, Rob. You covered what for me? And where do you have to go? Oh, I think it'll be okay. Anyway, it's too late to worry about it now. To worry about what now? <laughs> Boy, when I'm a father, I'm sure going to be careful of the bad advice I give my kids. Think how I'd feel if they ended up in jail. Night. Right.
there and drove right back out of the box. Come on, it only takes now, one to hit it, kid. Two and point in the count. Now the batter steps back, grabs a handful of dirt. Bobby, throw this stuff in the air. Sure, Bobby. Yeah, hey, did he hit it yet? Two men on. No, not yet. Still I mean, now, not tomorrow. He's what else? Himself. Who's winning? They are. Here's the pitch. Who won? Wait a minute. Hit it, kid. Come on, you guys. Mike. I mean both of you. Just step out to the trash can. Yeah. Come on. Get it right. Man, come, come on. Take it out now. I'm going to clean this room up. Go on. You think it was the World Series. Go on. Take the stuff out, I tell you. Here we go. Count two and two. Come on, fellas. You heard what Bob said. Let's get this trash outside. Don't you that? We've got a lot of cleaning up to do right here. Come on, that kid. Only takes one to hit it down the middle. Get in there. He had it. It's going. It's going. Over. Out. 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 And it's fouled by inches in the right field corner. Oh. Come on, kid. It only takes one to hit it. That's what I just told him. What's this? It's just baseball cards. What are they doing there? Little he gang. knows he's always losing his junk. Little gang, Wayne. <laughs> hey, uh, did he hit it, Bump? No, he's still following him up. Wait a minute. Get him through. He's still following him up. There. Yeah. Chip's baseball cards. Found him in the trash. Yeah, room. well, that figures. He keeps his trash in his drawers. And what he wants, he throws away. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this. Get on it. Hey, what's going on here? How did this thing get here? Well, that darn kid's always leaving his stuff around. That uniform cost 15 bucks. Yeah, well, you're a fine one to talk. How about that $175.36 trumpet you left on the back porch last night? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you hollered for me to come to dinner, didn't you? Just now, three and two. Oh, hi, Chipper. How'd practice go? Let's go. Well, there we are with the tying and winning runs on the bases. Count How's it going? Two. We still in the game? Uh, it's a, well, one out, two on. Two to one. And here comes the payoff pitch. It's a hot shot to short. Over to second for one. On the first for two, double play. Nice play. Boy, what luck. Well, he went deep in the hole for it. Let's face it, they're a hot double play combination. Yeah, I know a better one. Come on now, you guys. Let's get this room cleaned up. Sure, take this to Everest to Chip. Yeah, how about the old Yankees? Peck to Pratt to Pip. Ancient history. Where do you think I found this? Where? In the garage. And the next time I find these baseball cards in the trash can, I'm going to leave them there. Set the table. Hey, Chip. What's your good mitt doing under the couch? Chip, why didn't you go to baseball practice today? I went yesterday. Well, what about today? None of your business. <laughs> Come on, Chip, how about it? How would you like it if you struck out all the time? You only played one game. And I struck out all four times, too. So? Willie Mays went over for 4 today. He didn't have kids yelling at him. Are you kidding? Yeah, they kept yelling I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> Chip, I admit it's a little discouraging to get up there and strike out, but... Well, that's no reason to throw your uniform away. No, of course. Fifteen dollars down the drain. I didn't throw it away. I just hung it in the garage. Yeah, and then you hung your glove under the couch and filed your cards in the trash can. Well, anyway, it's okay with the coach. What's okay, Chip? What is this quitting business? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll uh, go help him set the table. Here, let me give you a hand, Chip. Is that what you've done? Quit the baseball team? No, I can't understand that. As far back as I can remember, you've talked about playing baseball. Being in the big leagues and all that. Now you're finally old enough to play, and after one game, you quit. And yeah, the forks go on the left, remember? You take care of the salad. You can't hit. You can't play ball. So now I don't want to be a big leaguer or anything. Well, maybe you can learn to hit. Practiced a whole week with the team. Well, pin a medal on it. What can you learn in a week? All the other kids you learn. Pardon me, Larry. You really haven't given yourself a chance, Chip. Maybe next time you'll do better. Well, look, if he can't take it, he's a right to quit. No, no. Wait a minute, Bobby. If hitting's his problem, he's got it made. 
swim pole to milk or something. We got plenty of hitters around here. Who? Cool. Look at Robbie. He was worse than you when he started. Sit down. What there. do you mean? You know what I mean. Good leather, no wood. Are you kidding? What about last year? I just about... Oh, just wait till I finish, will you, chump? Robbie's considered a power hitter now. He's even learned to pull the ball. Oh, yeah? Sure, well, Robbie'd right. be glad to help you, wouldn't you, Robbie? <laughs> well, I can't teach you all I know, but I can give you a few tips. We'll all be glad to help you, won't we? <laughs> sure, we sure will. Sure, sweat. So, uh, how about it, Chip? Need loaf again? <laughs> Take a stab at it. Well, get her off from home plate. <laughs> there we go. Now, you see where my foot is? You showed me that before. Well, why don't you try it, Chip? I'm tired. Your right foot's in the bucket. What bucket? You know what I mean. No, I don't. Sure you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do! Oh, yeah. See, I told you you knew. Well, sure I do now. Well, then how come your foot's still in the bucket? You know how to yell. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> well, try again. Harder. Doesn't feel good. Well, it'll feel right after you get used to it. Now, I'll throw you. <laughs> are you gonna try to do it right or aren't you? <laughs> See, I can't do it. <laughs> Give me a better grip. No, that looks fine, Mike. Thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, Mike. <laughs> when do the uh, Tigers have their next game, Chip? Next week. But what good does that do me? I'm not on the team. I bet they could sure use a good batter. Chip! Hey, Chip! <whistles> Chip! <laughs> hey, Chip! Hey, Dad, you seen Chip anywhere? Yeah, I've seen him. <laughs> oh, Chip! How are you, Chip? Hey, look, I hold it up for you. All you gotta do is just keep slugging your fist and do it, and you got it made. Boy, thanks, Robbie. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Robbie. <laughs> Robbie tells me you were really slugging that ball today. Bunning it pretty good, too. For a kid. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. That just goes to show you. Sometimes you think you can't do something, and then you work really hard at it, and you find out you can. Perseverance, that's the word for it. Perseverance won't get me back on the team. Well, how do you know you haven't tried, have you? I just know. Look, why don't you go up to the coach and say, Coach, I'm sorry I quit. I'd like to have another chance. Will you talk to him for me? No. Will you come with me? 
No. You write me a note? No. Me have to go alone? That's right, Chip. From here on in, this is your ball game. Now look, Greg. When you let go of the ball, snap the wrist. Okay? Okay. I got no control over it. I keep telling you. Takes a lot of practice. Here we go. Try again. I'm trying. All right, let's try a little harder, all right? Hey, Red, you better know what I knew I could do, y'all. Hey, look who's here. I saw you what, quit. What do you think you can get back on the team? It was your ball, Mickey. He yelled for it. And you yelled first. Oh, Hello. Okay, Greg. Let's try again. What are you doing here, Chip? Hanging around. Well, this is no place to hang around. We're practicing. All right, boys, let's have an infield roll. Have it up, come on. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go. Snap it up. Okay. Cliff, you're on first. Jay, second base. John, third base. Dave, shortstop. Dave had to leave. He had to go to piano lessons. All right, he's going to cover short. <laughs> All right, Terry, you're in. Give me All right, boys, let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's go. short in the first game. I know it. All right, boys, let's play ball. Suppose I said I was sorry I quit. Are you saying it? I guess so. Well, when you stop guessing and you're sure, let me know. Don't take steps when you throw the ball. Get rid of it. I'm sure. Well, sit down. I can't see through you. <laughs> Will you guys ever learn? Shouldn't have quit. Hey, come on, let up. Dope. You think you're playing croquet? <laughs> I'm real sorry. You, uh... Want to be a tiger again? Yes, sir. Well, I've uh, got nothing against the boy. We had guts enough to admit he was wrong. Gee, thanks. But all I can do is put you back on the squad. Maybe you'll get a chance to play this Friday. Keep that body low. Remember what I told you. Hey, come on. Maybe not. I'm making no promises. Okay? Okay. All right, boys. A chance to fly. Okay, Tiger, you're all set. Now keep your foot out of the bucket. If I get in the game, I'll remember. Well, remember to choke up on the bat. Yeah, now keep your eye on the ball. And don't telegraph those bunts. And watch the third base coach. And for Pete's sake, relax. Yeah, relax. Yeah. Well, that's all right. You just be ready. Yeah, and remember, on the ground, Sipper, and in the air. Oh. <laughs> all ready to take off, huh, Chipper? Yep. Say, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to make that game today, but I'll sure try, like, everything to get there. It's okay. I might not get in. Well, don't worry about it if you don't, Chip. Just remember, a team's only as strong as its bench. Hey, you forgot your stuff. Yeah. If you don't get in today, you'll get in one of these days, the way you're hitting that ball now. Hmm? Good luck, boy. Good luck. Hello. Yeah, this is he. Oh, hi, Miss Faulkner. Oh, well, no, no, I don't think so. That, well, I've got some things I ought to do today. This is kind of short notice, eh? Well, I thought Barnes was umpiring. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Forgot yeah. my glove. Well, the barn. all right, uh, Miss Faulkner, I'll be there. 
Yeah. Well, I'll just have to clear the deck somewhere. That's all. Yeah. Goodbye. Well, uh, Barnes has got the flu, so I'm going to have to umpire the game today. Gee, of course, if you're calling the balls and strikes, and if I get in the game, I can't lose. <laughs> no! Jim, wait a minute. Now, remember, when I'm out there, I'm not your father. I'm the umpire. Dad, nice, Dad. Darn kids leaving the doors open all the time. The whole house is full of flies. <laughs> Who could that be at this hour of the morning? Good morning. Are you the lady of the house? What are you doing? Well, I... Never mind. Oh, uh, you better shut the door. You don't want to let all the flies out, do you? No.
you know it. The only thing we didn't work on, space running. <laughs> Trip? Trip? job with dinner, but uh, we all decided you ought to have a piece of cake anyway. Yeah. Just put it down here until you get ready to eat it, huh? You know, Shipper, I haven't seen my name in the papers too many times, but boy, I'll always remember the first time. I was playing uh, on the Beaver Dam High School baseball team, and we played our first out-of-town game. And there was a write up about it in the hometown paper. There was my name right at the head of the column. I, I can still remember exactly what it said. After Mayor Blake threw out the first ball, Beaver Dam second baseman Steve Douglas led off the batting order for the visitors. Douglas struck out. <laughs> there it was in big black letters for the whole town to read. I really felt bad about that. Of course, now that I think back on it, it was pretty silly for me to feel that way, but now when you're young. You know, Chip, I'm sorry I had to call you out at home plate today. Well, I was the umpire, and the umpire has to call him as he sees him, and you were out. It's pretty darn close. <laughs> it wasn't so close, was it? You were out a mile. But that isn't the point, Chip. The point is you went through a stop signal. You shouldn't have gone for home. You should have held third like the coach tried to tell you. I think I'll go to bed. No. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chip. You know, we're forgetting something. We're forgetting that baseball's a game, and a game ought to be fun, right? Oh, maybe some of us don't play it quite as well as others, but... If you get fun out of playing it, what's the difference? Oh, I don't mean you, you shouldn't play it as hard as you can or the best way you can, but if you don't get fun out of it, I mean, if it's going to make us sore at each other, we ought to give it up, huh? Why don't we give it up? For a while, anyway. And then maybe later on you'll feel differently about it and you can take another crack at it, huh? Why don't we do that? Now, you, uh, you better eat that. You don't want to hurt Bob's feelings. <laughs> you know how he is about his cakes. I'll get you a glass of milk, hmm? Maybe just wasn't supposed to be a ball player. Plenty of other things he can do. Gotta break Bub's heart, though. Hey, anyone want to play catch? Just for the fun of it. Sure, Chip. Here, catch. <laughs> okay, why don't you give me the glove and I'll throw a few to you. You, you give a little batting practice, huh? Okay. Where'd you leave the bat? It's the wrong side of the car. Oh. 